This is Twit. One of the other things I thought was very interesting at the show was Lightfield. Now, I've had a, a couple of people f uh, on the show to talk about Lightfield technology. Uh, one from Lytro, makers of the camera that is used to capture light fields. And we're not going to get into exactly what light fields are here. Uh, but suffice to say, they simulate, the, the, when we're out looking in the real world, light comes at us from all these different directions. And a light field camera captures that information. And a light field display displays that information such that you get glasses-free 3D. Now, we all know that 3D in consumer TVs has come and gone yet again. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, there, are, there are applications for, for a glasses-free 3D light field type display. Um, Mike, did you see anything of these, uh, the Leia or the Tianma? Yeah, I didn't uh, see them in reality on the show floor, but it was brought up in a number of the papers. And you're right, it's really something that they're pointing initially towards uh, medical applications. So picture an otoscope, which uh, you'd want to use if your uh, kid complains that they have an ear infection. This would make it easier for the pediatrician to see what's literally going on in there. Or another really... Uh, innovative way to think about this is for tuner, da, tumor diagnosis ah. uh, for breast cancer exams. Is it, mm. is it a tumor? Is it something to really worry about? Or is it a cyst? Mm -hmm. and, and this was brought up as two really uh, big potential applications. Right. Uh, we have a, you took a picture of us uh, at Samsung, the Samsung light field OLED uh, which w it sort of shows something of, of how light fields work. And, and, well, and that's the, 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 uh, the poor person on the right there who needs their wig put on. Um, <laughs> you know, that's an example of, of, what they, uh, of what they were talking about. Or another thing that we haven't talked about, because this is home theater geeks, but a lot of the display technologies were also aimed at heads up in automotive displays. And mm -hmm. a lot of the curved and bendable displays were intended for swooping into the dashboard of a car or being used for a heads up display. And that was one of the applications uh, for this light field technology. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And must not forget about um, AR and VR. That's clearly going to be uh, yeah. another application area. Of, of, of yeah, of, uh, of light field. Of light field exactly. displayed. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, I did see the LEIA, L-E-I-A, uh, display that we have a graphic of that called LEIA 1. And uh, they were showing, it's funny, I walked up to him and I, I said, uh, so you, I can see you've got these 3D, glasses-free 3D displays here, small, smallish. You know, are you looking at TVs at all? And he says, nah, TVs, mm -hmm. 3D, it wasn't really well accepted it's kind of gone now. We're looking at other things. Um, and it was interesting because you you still, you had just kind of, you didn't have quite the same rigid, you know, uh, you couldn't, you could stand almost anywhere and see a 3D effect. Uh, so it was a lot better than most glasses free 3D that I've seen based on lenticular uh, types of filters. This is a different technology called light field. Uh, and I, I thought it worked pretty well. And then we also have, um, what's the other one that we have here? Uh, Tianma. Did, I didn't see, see them. Yeah, they were, um, they were in the uh, eye zone. And this is um, uh, one, of the, one of the approaches for a light field display is to create this kind of uh, volumetric uh, image that that's, uh, appears above the display. Um, so it has parallax both in the horizontal and the vertical direction. Mm -hmm. So you can have look around in, in any direction, basically. Um, but uh, what Tiama did was something a little different. They took the same idea um, and said, well, we're just going to focus all these little micro um, lenses onto a flat plane at one level. And so that becomes a, a floating image. Wouldn't that be cool? An out I'm of sorry, body I missed video. That. I'm sorry, what? An out of body video. <laughs> An out of body video. I love it. 